it's been another crazy travel day. We have made it to London after a very, it wasn't a long flight, but it was a long time at the Milan airport. And then a long ride from Gatwick to our VRBO. But we're here. I'm feeling deliriously tired from travel again, but we are on our way out to Liberty because priorities. So we're going to Liberty, we're checking that out, and then we're gonna try and find a puppy pub type place to maybe grab some fish, fish and chips. I don't know, Shepherd's Pie. Completely inappropriate for July. Anyway, the weather here is beautiful. We are staying in the Mayfair area, which is lovely. Be back soon. for my latte to brew so I figured I'd vlog a little bit. The weather is incredible. It's gonna be like high 70 which you guys know it's just perfect for me. I am standing in the sun right now though. Let me move. My hair is living its best life as we can see. Anyway we had such a great time at Liberty yesterday and then we headed over to Mason's Arms which is right near our VRBO and we all had fish and chips. It was so good. So so good and then we went back to the apartment and just crashed. So now we are waiting for our coffee and then we're heading out to Loop London, which is a knitting store. Sarah has a meeting there. We're just tagging along. And then I'm trying to actually meet up with a friend of mine from New York who happens to be in town at the same time. So um, she's super busy, but we're gonna try and make it work. And that's it. I'm actually wearing one of my new shirts from Italy, which I'll have to show you when I get back, when I do my big haul. but. It's a Prada shirt. I love it. Okay, I'll see you guys soon. We just hailed a cab and it is the most incredible, clean, fun cab ever. <laughs> in any crafting, definitely check out Loop London. 
It is so cute in there, as you saw in some of my shots. So Sarah and Caitlin are wrapping up in there. And then I think we're headed to Harrods. I think we may stop by a boutique that was recommended to us called Egg. So we may check that out first, but we're gonna definitely check out Harrods this afternoon. Hey guys, good morning. I have you propped up on <laughs> the kitchen table here at our VRBO. I hope you can hear me. I am trying to keep my voice down because I'm the first one awake. Oh, I just have to share with you the most magical time we had at Harrods yesterday. I mean, we've had a magical time this entire trip starting in Florence, but Harrods was, it was just so much fun. And I just wanna give a very, very special shout out. I don't know if they're gonna be watching 
but a very special shout out to Georgia at the Westman Atelier counter. She was fantastic. She uh, did the makeup for my two friends that I'm here with and they just, oh my God, they looked so beautiful. It was just, you know, our kind of makeup style, just very light, very natural. And Georgia was just so lovely. So, so lovely. I mean, she's absolutely gorgeous. And yeah, she was just a lot of fun. So knowledgeable about the Western Atelier line. So that was wonderful. And then I stopped by the um, Giorgio Armani area and Tasio, up uh, just another wonderful, wonderful sales associate. Um, so knowledgeable about the fragrances. And I was looking at all the Armani Privé fragrances. He was so sweet and yeah, he was great. And I met, who else did I meet yesterday? Um, I met um, Eilish at the Me and M boutique, which was outside of Harrods. This was actually before we made it to Harrods, but Eilish was there from Ireland with her aunt shopping. And she stopped to say hello to me and she was just oh my, beautiful, beautiful, like crystal blue eyes. And then, who else? Oh, there's actually in the Western Atelier area while we, I was standing there watching my friends get their makeup done, um, a woman named Celine um, said hi to me too. So anyway, a shout out to her. But I just wanted to just mention <laughs> because I ran into this woman the night before we were actually at pret a and um, she, this woman, her name is Pimena and she was there with her sister and she stopped me. She recognized me from, from YouTube. And anyway, she works at Harrods. She works uh, in the ready to wear department for Givenchy. So if you're in Harrods, if you're interested in Givenchy, definitely stop by to say hello to her. She is so sweet. She sent me a whole entire PDF of places to go and eat. I still have to look at it, um, but places to go and eat. And she said that she and her friend put it together. Her friend is this you know, foodie and knows like where to go. So anyway, I cannot wait to open up this document, but I can't believe she went to so much trouble to make some recommendations for us. So a huge, huge thank you to Pimetta. Um, but yeah, it's just been such a great, such a great time. Um, Harrods was, as you guys know, just mind blowing. I just loved it. I'm the uh, first one up. I am enjoying my flat weight. I love how this is, I think this is the normal size here in London, and this is a large. Now, I think in America, the small is something between these two, like the tall at Starbucks, and then <laughs> our venti is like embarrassing. Our venti is like a pitcher <laughs> compared to what they get here. So we were trying to figure out what we're gonna do today. I think what we're gonna do is go to the neighborhood of Primrose Hill, and then also check out Notting Hill. So we wanted to do more like boutique shopping um, instead of like the big department store since we've already hit Liberty and Harrods. I think we're actually gonna go back to Liberty for something, um, but then we're gonna hit uh, Primrose Hill and Notting Hill. So that's the day today. So I'm gonna sip my teeny tiny <laughs> flat white, uh, wait for my friends to get up, and then we're gonna get going for the day. Thank you. 
came back to our rental here after um, hanging out at Brown's, which is an incredible boutique store that is amazing. And it's actually right around the corner from our rental here. Oh, wow. Sorry, I think we're across the street from a hotel too. Those rooms are beautiful. Um, okay, <laughs> sorry, little little voyeur action. So after Browns, I just was feeling really, I think just all the traveling caught up to me. So I came back. My two friends went on to like Primrose Hill. I was telling you about Primrose Hill, Notting Hill, all that kind of stuff. They ended up at Selfridges. Anyway, I slept for like five hours this afternoon. I just came back and passed out until about 5 p.m. And now I'm awake and I'm feeling, <laughs> feeling a little bit, I don't look it, but I feel a little bit more refreshed. And now we're gonna go out to dinner. We're gonna try and find another pub um, we want a different one because we went to that Mason's Arms the first night we were here. Was that the first night we were here? I feel like I've been traveling for like 47 years. Uh, we're going to try and find a different pub. Um, but yeah, we want to just kind of do like British pub food since we're here. So that's what we're going to do. And I did pick up something at Brown's. I'm just teasing it a little bit because I am still planning on doing a haul video when I get back. So I will show you everything that I purchased um, on this trip. It's quite a bit, it's quite a bit. I probably have to go on a no buy for the rest of the year. <laughs> So <laughs> it's late in the afternoon. I have not really been out today. I decided to stay in and do some work. And Sarah and Caitlin came back. We started chatting and Caitlin mentioned this brand. I think it's pronounced Ray, but it's spelled R-A-E-Y. I don't think we have it in the States. Anyway, she was talking it up. We found pictures. They're only carried at matches, we believe. So we are on our way there before they close. was a bus it wasn't a bus we just didn't know how it worked they have very they have a very small selection actually in store but you can actually work with someone there and get clothing sent in and blah 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 so anyway we know better now <laughs> for the next time we're here um, and now we're at the windmill which is an ale and pie restaurant so we figured for our last dinner here in London we would do something very traditional so we all got pies some fish and chips we have a very wobbly table on some very crooked floor. <laughs> Feels very, very authentic. I 
am at Heathrow right now. I am heading home today, so I'm gonna close out this vlog here. Thank you guys for tuning in. London was amazing. And I'm hoping to come back soon because we do have a direct flight from London to Vegas, which is really awesome. Okay, I will see you guys in my next vlog. Bye.